So it looks like the players have finally joined. Looks like they can begin the game. The map is going to be GSL Taldarim Alter right now. Duckload Raw up 1-0 on the verge of going to 4-0 in his group. Only has not played against the Israeli Zerg Osho. Can Duckload Raw do it or will Prey to make a comeback? We're going to find out right now. I'm very excited. So here we are. The match has started. In the top right position, we have the man who's hoping that he can manage to get another 2-1 win, has had the longest matches of the day. We have Prady. And I, I, I can't wait. I can feel it in the crowd. In the top left corner, we have the superstar who has super enthusiasm, Duckload Raw. <laughs> that... That cheering was highly imbalanced. <laughs> in favor of White Ra. And uh, he has built a pylon inside his base. You don't really want to be building a pylon. We've seen a lot of Protoss players against Zerg do build that pylon on the outside. You don't really want to do that against Terran players. They can exploit that uh, quite easily with any form of early aggression. So White Ra will be building standardly inside his main base. But I wouldn't be surprised if he did go ahead and go for a one get expo. He's so confident and safe with that build. We've seen Jinro try to break it down. We've seen Predi try to take it down too. Both times uh, White Rod lost a bunch of probes but still managed to continue into the mid game and uh, completely outplay his opponent. Barracks going down now for Predi. We see him rallying this Barracks already to the front. Mm -hmm. Will he be building an early gas geyser or will he be going for the expand? Ooh, with this little queue up this generally signals a faster expansion. Indeed it we does. Also see and you from can White Ra, no gateway at all. Oh, uh oh, looks like we're gonna see a Nexus first. <gasps> duck loads. White Ra, Doctor Duck load. And uh, so we are gonna be seeing this Nexus first by White Ra here, and uh, Pred Eye at the same time is gonna be going for quite fast expansion himself. But he he has scouted uh, in the correct uh, manner in this farm. We'll see that White Ra has gone for this very early Nexus here. And uh, how is he going to respond to that? Is he just going to continue with his own command center? Uh, he will have the option to deny White Ross scouting those. The Marine will come out before that probe gets inside the base. Now, important to note, of course, you could go ahead with the pretty typical early expand, or you could do a more modern response, which is to immediately throw what? down. <laughs> okay. Well, it's very modern. He's just going to let that probe go right into his base. Highly unusual play and also uh, a mistake. Pretty should have turned around and picked that off. Now, honestly, one of the better counters I personally like is to add on two barracks immediately instead of the command center and just rally for a huge marine attack. MMA mm. popularized the strategy on Crevasse, but we're seeing Duckload Rot just going to be able to pick off this SCV perhaps. Man, this one probe doing so much damage. And uh, we are seeing the Marine go into the natural, not really going to be able to do anything. We do have a Zealot being Chrono Boosted out. I guess he did force White Raw uh, to use a Chrono Boost on the Gateway, which he doesn't really want to do at this stage in the game. Would much rather put that on the Nexus in a bunker. Is being made too. Nice placement for the bunker. It's actually going to oh. wall the Marine in. But I think that the, the SCV isn't going to be able to survive anyway and uh, will get taken out. But that Marine will be able to do a lot of damage to that Zealot. Uh-oh, it looks like the bunker is taking quite a bit of hurt. It looks like Preddy's trying to micro around with that SCV. Will it be too much? It looks like Preddy gets trapped, and oh, plan backfiring. Ooh, what a way to die. <laughs> Caught in between the mineral patches and the zealot. <laughs> and just, help, help. Uh-oh, Preddy going for a very fast third command center. Could be potentially going to sneak over here for a faster third or could just be utilizing those mules. Either way, I like the fact that Prady is going for an economic focus response, but will duck loads early zealot pressure be too much? We see already Prady having to be on the run, but Marines the same speed as zealots. We'll have to see what style White Raw is going to transition into. A very strong build from here is most likely some six gate push. And uh, with correct use of sentries and force fills on any bunkers, uh, it can really take well, it can be really useful for you to take a lot of games off players, and that might be something White Raw might look to do. One, only one bunker, though. Uh, a couple more barracks have been added on now. And the third command center, like you said, I'm wondering if he's going to lift it up and go for a very fast third, or just use it uh, for these mules early on. So now it looks like Pretty has a decent economy, does have this one bunker. Two stalkers going to pop up, going to get immediately repelled. 
Dr. Ducklow might do his usual poking and prodding. We see, oh, more gateways getting added. Great read, the Apollo. We see five gateway push is coming up. No Twilight Council in sight. Could be a potential huge early attack from White Raw. They're going to look in Predi's vision. What does he see? He's absolutely nothing. Has no idea what is going on. I wouldn't be surprised if he added on an engineering bay quite soon because of the way that he's played against White Raw. And we do have a probe moving out now from the Nexus, uh, natural Nexus, and we'll be building that aggressive pylon. And uh, the only problem is the warp gate research is a little bit late. Uh, it's been chrono boosted, but won't be out for a while. The scan does go down, sees th three gateways, but doesn't see the additional two to the right hand side. Yeah, this is good placement by White Ross, spreading out those gateways. Most importantly, leaving these three together, because that would almost always signal to Pretty that everything is in a typical fashion, almost certainly going to be some kind of very early Colossus play, but it looks like we have the Stalkers well positioned. Will he spot it? Will he spot it? Uh-oh, looks like very nice, very, very nice foresight there by White Ross. It looks like Pretty still has no idea about this proxy pylon. Yeah, and he's going to go ahead and build that turret on the natural in anticipation for some form of DTs. But no, in fact, we're going to see a lot of sentries being warped in here and uh, a lot of zealots too to try and break down Predi with this five and the sixth. No, actually, that's a robotics facility. Five gateway robotics facility being added on two. And uh, another pylon has been made here in a more aggressive stance. Will Predi, oh, he builds, he does indeed build that third bunker, which is going to be so vital in defending this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he only has eight Marines in those two bunkers, but he has another five. He has 13 total, but still quite far behind, still trying to establish his usual big economy. So it does look like this could potentially be a big problem. There's the Guardian Shield going down. Predi caught off guard. Oh, no, trapping the Marines at the front. No repair on the bunker, no units behind. White Ross sprinting to an early lead. Uh, it looks like he is going to take down the next bunker. He does get the other one up. Though, but he loads them with SCVs. Critical mistake oh. there. And there are how many Marines left? There are no Marines left. One Marauder is out. But it oh. looks like White Raw is just going to completely trash over this fast expansion build. And there's and the good GT. game. White Raw, the crowd favorite, undefeated. Now he is up there wow. with players like Startail's Bomber, Naniwa, Sase, and again we see another Protoss player here at DreamHack performing incredibly well in the group stages. That was impressive. Absolutely amazing play in both games by White Raw, and hopefully White Raw, I'm just looking at the other players who have advanced. Naniwa, Rhett, Braddock, Sake, White Raw. Hopefully these are the guys that are going to beat these Koreans down that have come here to take this championship. And MC consistently says he will win every tournament outside of Korea. But hopefully we have the players now to do so. These players are showing a lot of form. Braddock is insane. And now White Raw also coming into the fray. Looking forward to the later stages of this tournament. So exciting to see that these Group stages have almost wrapped up. There will be the selection ceremony this evening hosted by, well, Us. myself and Apollo. <laughs> so that does mean that we will see what the brackets have in mm. store. We'll be doing the round of 16 later this evening. But you know, one thing I love about round robin groups is that with the size, six players in each group, it means the two that do advance have to be in absolute tip-top form because they are against the top players in the entire world at this tournament. And right now, almost all Europeans yep. and Koreans through very few North American players doing well in this tournament. And like you were saying, everybody needs to be in tip-top form. This is what the groups are for. These is dividing players who are on form and who are not. And one of the biggest players, most likely, uh, we can kind of bring up this point with is Moro, who's not on form, didn't qualify. Hydra yeah, yeah. on the break of qualifying, just about squeezed through that group uh, with Grubby. And if he's not going to be playing on form, then he could possibly not do very well in this tournament. And uh, I'm excited to see how the rest of the results are going to do when we finally get to do that uh, deciding, are we going to pick out from a hat or what? <laughs> well, well, we'll go through all the specifics when we end up seeing that. That should be scheduled at 1900, but right now things yeah. are running mildly behind schedule because these rude Terrans keep stretching games out to 45 minutes. No. But either way, we will be taking an extended break for now because we have yet to eat today. But when we come back, we are going to finish up the final two groups here at DreamHack to find out who the top 16 players will be. I'm Day9. And I am Diapolo. Don't go anywhere. Final group stage matches coming up after this. The faster, lighter protection. ESET Nod32 antivirus gives you less lag and more frag for your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer.